Happy News Day, oil traders. It is August 2nd at 9 a.m. We're half an hour away from markets open here on the East Coast of North America. And as you can see, we're pulling back up. The bears will, or the bulls, will not give up. Um, this drop that you see here just uh, to the right of my notes page here, that was the drop that we saw yesterday. We, of course, climbed back up um, to where we are right now, as a matter of fact, um, ahead of the uh, API news at 4.30 and then uh, the news itself was bearish and we dropped back down to you know close to the uh, lows of the day and uh, where we spent most of the time um, overnight until of course right now where we're climbing back up. Um, obviously there's a lot of speculation about what EIA will report um, on the uh, oil inventories. Um, you know, whether or not it confirms um, the bearishness reported by API is anyone's guess. Um, of course, I remain bearish simply based on the overall action of oil over the past couple of weeks. Um, if we zoom out to a month here, you can see how bullish it has been. And I want to at least believe that this is the turning, or the turning point and not a repeat of what happened last time where we simply bounced and shot right back up. That being said, I do still have a long at 52 and I would welcome the opportunity to get out of that position should that uh, materialize today. Um, if that does happen, either ahead of news or following news, then I will be adding to my short positions. Um, yes, I'm that stubborn or stupid, take your pick. <laughs> but that's my feeling. Um, that chuckle there, that was a nervous laugh. But uh, that, that's my feeling. So basically heading into news at uh, 10.30 a.m. Eastern here, if we do manage to drop, which is my personal feeling, I think that we're going to drop back down to closer to 48 and a half um, before the actual news comes out at 10.30, um, simply based on what I've seen here. Uh, but uh, based on what's happening at this particular moment, I may be wrong once again. Um, if we do drop and we're closer to 48, I may exit one short position uh, just to hedge my bets. If we do, for some miraculous reason, manage to climb back up to the highs from yesterday ahead of news, then I will be adding to my short positions as I had planned to do all along. Um, you know, if you've followed me for any length of time, you know that I'm a stickler for sticking to my targets and to my strategy. Um, I try not to let my emotions dictate my trades, as I've learned that tends to work against me. So I've set my targets, I know the numbers, and I'm just going to play it accordingly. Um, I think it's been bullish for too long, and that's my, that's basically my only justification for being bearish at the moment. Um, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but that's what I'm going to do. I'd love to hear what you guys have in mind. You can hit me up down below on YouTube in the comments or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my results, portfolio trades, charts, etc., etc. Uh, give us a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, to stay, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll touch base with you guys after news today um, and towards end of trading at 4 p.m. Eastern. Until then, good luck. Cheers.